Here's the activity. Um, basically, you're going to color the map. Um, you can choose whatever colors you like. You might know or, or might interest you to know that the colors that are found on a published geologic map actually do mean something. They, they relate to the age of the rock unit. But for this thing, I, I wouldn't worry about that. I would let the students color whatever colors they would choose, just as long as they stay with their own key. So this is basically paint by number. Okay? You're looking for the symbol. So the game is QA, and the symbol is in here, and you just find all the QAs and color it, whatever. I recommend, don't get started coloring it though, I recommend that when you do choose your colors that you pick the largest rock unit on the map, the one that shows the most, and make that one white. Saves a lot of time in coloring. So in this case, it's QTKR, the Kern River Formation. I would just say, you know what, let's make that white and save yourself some time. Um, okay, so here's what I would do in class. I would have them... Here's the questions, one through seven, but the first part of it right here discusses how to actually read a geologic map. And I basically went through all of that in the presentation, but it's a good idea to have this written down somewhere. Um, on this, on the back side, they also, you have the key, sorry, the geologic time scale here, and you have a little itty bitty key right here, just reminding them that the thin black lines are um, contacts and the thick, black, thick lines are false. Okay, so from here, from here, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and ask you to color to your heart's content, and then I'll give you a little bit of time to do that, and then we'll move on and look at the questions. 